Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and welcome to my Barber Shop of Horrors. I know what you're thinking, you wouldn't want me anywhere near you with anything sharp. But that's what's going to happen. Stop! Get in the chair! I'm probably just demonetized just for that alone, just pointing that at you. That resembles a gun enough, right? I would probably have to pay people to come in to my barber shop. I don't think I'd have many customers. They'd probably look at my hair and immediately go, Nope, don't want any of that. But I got all the tools of the trade. I got my, my hair gun. I've got my scissor. I've got packaging tape. That's for the kids if they struggle in the chair. You know, sometimes kids don't like getting their hair cut, so... They, they struggle a little bit. And last but not least, oh, oh no, there's still egg in this from baking pad. Okay, now we add the eggs. This is my favorite part, but I'm not that good at it. I've experimented with different ways, you know, cracking them. It just, it seems like there's room for improvement, you know, it's a bit messy, room for error, but uh... Uh, last but not least, I got my, my multi-tool, so if I need a hammer when I'm going at their hair, I, I have that. And I'm sure there's some other useful stuff in here. Like, look, there's a little scissors there. So if I was cleaning the other one, you just use this one. And this this thing, in case they they want to be scraped or something. Hi, I'll take um, a, a two on the sides, maybe, and uh, a little bit off the top. And uh, you know what? Feck it, I'll treat myself. I'll have a scraping too, please. That's my specialty, my good man. I don't regret this decision at all. All right, I think I hear my first customer coming in, so it's really time we get started. I hope you enjoy the video, folks. I didn't know being a barber was this dangerous. Oh, we're closed, actually. We'll have to come back. Oh, no, we're open. Okay. Thought I'd have to record it later instead. Oh, we got some great music lined up here today. I can just walk right through the counter. Okay. Now, sir, tell me, what do you want? He wants the lazy. Well, I can be lazy with you, all right. Not a bother. That's actually my specialty. All right. Lazy. <laughs> he is not happy with that. He gave me a D. I guess average. Very average. It's not quite a fail. You know what I'm saying? He looked at it and he went, ah, you know what? Could be worse. <laughs> I'm loving this music, by the way. <laughs> oh, the next customer's already lined up. He's seen what I've done. And he wants some of it. He wants the baby. Is that good enough? I've seen babies that look like that. F. Okay. Well, you know what? I can kind of understand that. I can buy different tools. I don't have much money, though. The barber shop hasn't done so well so far. All right, this guy wants the baby, too. How do you feel, men who are clean-shaved? <laughs> Being called a baby like that. You gonna take that? I've got a little bit of his hair there. It's just taking $5 off me. Oh, God, I shaved his eye. Sorry. <laughs> Only $5. That's not bad, considering the damage that would do. All right, finish, I guess. I, I don't have the razor to actually give you a clean shave. I'll get a large razor. It's cheaper than getting a small one. Sure, it's less precise, but I'm here to make money. I'm a business after all. How do I change tool? Oh, there we go. I'll just shave all the hair like this. There. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the other side. <laughs> Also, I think I missed a hair or two. He gave me an A for that. He's like, eh, close enough. I kind of like it. Now if I'm going into a bar so I don't get ID'd, I can just face to my right. Show off the mutton chop. Oh god, I already went too much. Alright, you know what? He wants the lazy, which is stubble. So I guess if I average it out to stubble, like, I'll give him clean shaved on the top and hair on the bottom. So then overall, it's like the same amount of hair as just having a bit of stubble. Alright, look, you probably don't like it now, but trust me, in the 2010s, this is gonna be a really fast fashionable beard. It's called the neck beard. It's all the rage. F. All right. I guess you're not ready for that kind of thing yet, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Stuck it in your eye there. It's all right. Accidental Sweeney Todd. That's what my parents used to call me. I can't get this bit by your ear. You know what? Harry ears is in right now. Oh god, that might- <sighs> All right, look, it's a little bit uneven, <laughs> but that'll have to do. <laughs> Look, how much did you pay for this, really? Don't go on, seventy dollars. <laughs> they gave me an A. <laughs> I guess the trick is to just make sure all the mirrors are lopsided, so they don't realize that the beard is actually lopsided. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. He's in a rush. He's in a rush. All right, finished. Uh, that's actually straighter than last time somehow. <laughs> there we go, an A. All right, what do you want? You want the same thing? God, this is really in fashion, isn't it? He goes in like, I hear you do a good lopsided goat. <laughs> oh, it's actually my specialty, sir. He got the straightest one yet. He's probably disappointed. He probably saw the others. He was like. Ah, like, oh, that's quite the statement. I'm loving this music. It's making me feel alive again. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, wait, he wanted sideburns. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sideburns. They're just not very long. Look at her now. That'll do. Finish. I'm all about speed. An A. Thank you. <laughs> I can see why you'd grade it so high. It feels like a pity A, if I'm gonna be honest. Feels like any A I ever got in school. Oh, I'm so glad I put in no effort. Look at me now. <laughs> Shaving virtual men for a living. <laughs> Drop out of school, everyone. <laughs> Shave virtual men, it's a great career. 
You don't even have to be that good. Like, look at that. A. <laughs> oh, you must have been a beautiful baby. I was. Thank you very much. I assume that's not the radio and it's just some guy saying that to me. <laughs> it makes me feel pretty good about myself. Everyone's looking the same these days. Well, actually, no, no one looks the same because they're always like a little bit off in different ways. But you're all going for the same style. Could you give me some variety, please? Oh, now that is a man's mustache. The bracket, they call it. Might get a bracket myself. I don't think I could pull it off. <laughs> it would probably hurt. Okay, longer on one side, but that's okay. Most people's arms, you know, there's there's a slight difference in them, so a mustache really shouldn't be a big deal. Oh my god, I'm sick of doing the ghost. Just feck off. <laughs> he looks lovely, to be fair. I, I think that's what you want. I, I'm just gonna say finish rather than ask you. <laughs> I'm socially awkward. The blinder? Oh, I know how to do that. Loses me money when I do what he wants, though. We don't serve the goat anymore, sir. You just get messed up if you ask for the goat. He's still happy. He's like, eh, <laughs> I've seen worse come out of here. <gasps> now that is a stash. The director. Oh, wait. I oh, feck. Uh, I think I messed it up. Okay, sir, I may have taken too much, but depending on the time, that may not be bad yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, though. <laughs> this strikes me as, like, 50s, so I'm pretty sure it's at the height of bad, but that's what you're getting. <laughs> he gave it an A. He's like, huh, it's pretty uncommon. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Okay, again, this is a pretty cool little mustache. Who knew there were so many valid options for mustaches? I mean, I would say the last one I did isn't really a valid option, but he was still happy with it. Yeah, you see, the small uh, razor would probably be better for this, but you gotta work with what you got. I can't seem to get this little bit... Feck. Alright, well, close enough. <laughs> he looks so pissed. I don't really blame him. Oh, we're getting another try at that. Great. I'll be able to do it this time. Oh my god, I already messed it up. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Wait. Oh, the bracket? Oh, I've already finished it anyway. I got good for speed. Wait, they gave me $40 for that. Can I just keep finishing stuff? Oh, wait, he wants the chicken. Ah, well, you're done. $40, please. <laughs> they give me $40 every time. The $40 fee is just for sitting in the chair. See, that is a man that's easy to please. He came in wanting this, and he went away looking like that. Low maintenance, ladies. That's what you want in a man. All right, let's try this one again. I think I'm gonna buy some new tools after this one. My barbershop is getting very popular by what looks like just this one guy. Like, he looks the same every time. He just really likes this place. His wife is just like, why do you keep going back there? And he's like, I want to give them a chance. I really think they can do it right about 10% of the time. They made you look like Hitler, honey. <laughs> Please stop going back. <laughs> yeah, purchase it. It's a gold clipper. And we'll buy a silver small one and a silver large one for the razor. Oh, look at this, sir. Do you like this? It's nice, huh? I know you don't want this, but it's a new toy. You can't really blame me for playing with it, can you? Oh, this is fun. You never really know what you're gonna get if I just cycle through the tools like this. You're gonna get a relatively happy customer, apparently. What the hell is this? God, talk about complicated. Okay, so it looks like you take a strip and another. To be fair, it could have came out a lot worse. Like, you came to the wrong place to ask for such a complicated shave. He gave me an F. Are you serious? That was relatively close compared to some of the things I give people. Like, look at that. He wanted a mustache going down to here, and I gave it up to here. And he gave me an A. These people are a lot more easygoing. Even though they all kind of look the same, to be honest. <laughs> looks like the same guy. Maybe he just has bad days. Sometimes he doesn't want- Oh, feck. I just got rid of what he wanted. Okay, I'll I'll just pass on that one. C plus. See what I mean? How is that a C plus when he wanted the goat and the other guy was an F? I think it's just speed is giving me points when I do ones like that. The baby, really? You're coming to me for an amateur one like that? Do it yourself, but still give me $60. <laughs> oh, the musketeer. Do you want to join my group of friends? By group, I mean two. We're looking for the final musketeer. Actually, you look a bit young to be hanging out with me, even though you didn't want to. You wanted that stubble, but I didn't let you have it. And you're still happy with it. You see, I would need customers like this. You're just like, ah, no worries. It'll grow back. That's what hair is for. There you go. Look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? An A. I deserve an A for that. That was really accurate for a change. The Hulk. Oh, you're ahead of your time, buddy. Razor connected to your hairline. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> he starts to sweat. <laughs> oh, it's the Hulk Hogan. I get it. I was thinking of the Incredible Hulk, and I was like, huh, wonder why they call it that. I think it goes a little bit far down, but that's what you're getting. God, songs today are very repetitive, ain't they? I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> oh, the Depp. I don't know if I can do a mustache that thin for you, buddy. All right, I'm gonna try this. No, no. Okay, now I just made it look like you're going through puberty. Hold on. There you go. I finally got a stash, you guys. <laughs> Come 
comes to school, shows all his friends. There we go. It's opposite day, so I did the exact opposite of what you wanted. This guy is just like, why do I keep coming here? <laughs> he must live overhead in an apartment or something. I've unlocked every one. I'm an expert barber, apparently. All right, I deserve a new cape for that. I'll take the barber one, please. Okay, yeah, I got a new one. Yay. And with it, my barber shop dreams are completed. Sorry, sir, I don't really care about what beard you end up getting because, well, I've accomplished everything I wanted in life and now I feel empty inside. All right, I guess we're gonna end it there. I've accomplished everything I wanted. Now I can go back to just giving one style and this is the one I've settled on. <laughs> I wanna bring it back into fashion. I don't want one man to have ruined it for everyone. We can start calling it the Chaplin mustache or the trigger stash because, let's face it, that's gonna trigger a lot of people. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you want to shave anytime, feel free to stop by. Now doing legs also. Again, same mustache, just on your leg. <laughs> just the little Hitler mustache on the leg. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you as always, folks, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.